Today on the menu is the deep dish pizza out of a cast iron skillet. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Charcoal King, where we cook everything from the grill to cast iron. Today, my daughter Kenzie said, Daddy, you cannot make a video without me in it. So we've got our special guest, Kenzie. We're gonna do the meat, the ultimate meat. Three meats today, pepperoni, salami, and we've got some pre-cooked Italian sausage. Just a little tip, we've got pre-made dough here. We let it sit out in the refrigerator for about 30 to 45 minutes. That way it comes up to room temperature and it's a lot easier to work with. All right, we're gonna grab some flour. and just start stretching it out by hand, okay? You're more than welcome to make the dough from scratch yourself. We just wanted to save some time. Heck, for $1.99 at the local grocery store, it's worth it. I don't have that much patience. Just swirl it around, let the weight of the dough stretch naturally. This is gonna be a two-step process. We're gonna get it to our length, about 14 inches, like I said, across. Then we're gonna put it in the pan and let it rest. That way it lets the dough relax. This is probably the most important process. That way when you cook it, the dough isn't gonna shrivel up because it hasn't had a chance to relax. All you're trying to do is just stretch the dough, making sure there's no thin spots and stretch it evenly as possible. All right, kids, this is where we're gonna use the rolling pan, okay? You notice how much bigger we got? Yeah. Okay. And remember, when we're doing our dough, we want to go from the inside out. Inside out, okay? You can already see the edges are a little bit thicker. A little bit more flour. I'm gonna show you a couple times. Yep, inside, but don't press too hard. You want to do it to go natural. There you go. Just flip it over. There you go. There you go. There you go, yep, inside and out. There you go, make sure your rolling pin's even. Yep, perfect, 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 perfect. To get our pans ready, it's the best part of the day. Butter, butter, butter. That's how you get the buttery crust for that deep dish crackly pizza. All right, you wanna do it? Yeah. Let's split it. I'll get mine, you get yours. All we're doing is we're gonna take some simple butter that's room temperature, and we're gonna spread it all around our pan. Spread it in your pan. Yep, spread it, spread it, spread it. You want a thick coating. Almost like the idea like you're doing a casserole pan and then you add your flour. You guys see that pan? That's what you're looking for right there. It's just butter lathered all over it. You step in and help. You're doing great. There you go. Let's get up on the sides. Look at you, somebody must have taught you well. Well, there's Kenzie's pan. I think she beat me on her pan. But guys, that's what you want is really is that butter starts to melt and that dough warms up. It really absorbs all the butter. That's how you get that buttery flaky crust at the end.
right, guys, the moment of truth for this one. Salami, pepperoni, Italian sausage. Mmm. I just can't wait. I know it's gonna burn. Oh gosh, I know it's gonna burn. Look at all those ingredients. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. Feels on my elbow. I'd have eaten my elbow. Oh, this is a winner. Oh, jeez, what's this? Mmm.